So today is Good Friday, and in honor of Good Friday, I'm asking of you, my wonderful, lovely subscribers, what's good in your world today? And I don't mean today, Good Friday, I mean right now, in this juncture of your life. What's going on in your world that's good? Uh, me personally, I have a lot of things to be thankful for, and there's a lot of good going on in my life right now. I have a great wife, I have a great daughter, I've got a grandkid on the way. Um, that, that's just a start. What's good with you? Snowball fans that don't live around here and don't have access to this, this should tell you a little bit about the first scrimmage. Confusing just because it seems like they have too many running backs. Uh, to deal with right now, uh, but uh, Jamal Lewis, maybe he doesn't want to retire and, and wants to play football, and it's been pointed out, he could be in a situation where he needs money because of a civil lawsuit from several years ago, so that, that's a little news with the former Tennessee running back. Let's talk a little Tennessee football. They had their first spring scrimmage yesterday, and from what I'm hearing, uh, the quarterbacks all look like crap. Um, Tyler Bray was the best of the three, and Nick Stevens had a horrible day, surprise, surprise. Of the running backs, Torrin Poole had the best day. Um, he had nine carries, I believe, for 93 or 96 yards and a 60-some yard touchdown. Uh, Oku, I, I haven't read it yet, I'm just going off of memory, had an okay day. And Tony Williams, who they have said needs to lose about 15 pounds, had receivers. Um, Marcellus had the best day um, on defense. Shane Reves had a good day, they said. Montori had five tackles. Uh, Herman Lather, six or seven tackles. Jansen Jackson, they said, had just a spectacular interception of Matt Sims. So that's uh, not necessarily a bad thing that Sims threw the pick because they said that the uh, the interception was uh, just an Eric Berry-like play on Jansen Jackson's part, which that's good to hear. And, of course, the media is still bitching about not being able to get into these practices and scrimmages and stuff. You know, I mean, I, I understand where they're coming from. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan. I'd like to hear a little bit more than what I'm hearing. I'd like to know a little bit more about Dooley and the staff. But look, the man's got a job to do, and he's doing it the way he's been taught or the way he's learned or the way he sees fit to best do his job. So who are we and who is the friggin' media to question? I understand where the media is coming from, too. you got a brand new coach, a brand new staff, um, and a fan base that's hungry for knowledge. So why not give the fans what they want? Um, but I, I guess Dooley's looking at it like he's working on the big picture and giving the fans what they want, which is W's. We want W's at Tennessee. We're tired of the friggin' L's. Well, this may shock some people, but I have a shout-out I'd like to throw out there today. Um, my shout-out today goes to one Mr. Sorry Che. I know that probably surprises a lot of people, so let me explain myself. But before last, he did a video on why there should not be a playoff for college football, and I hate to admit this, but it actually helped sway my opinion on the subject. You know, for years I thought we needed a playoff in college football at Division I level. But after hearing his points and his reasons for why he personally doesn't want one, and I gotta say I agree with 99% of everything he said in that video. Also in that latest video he did with Oni Kuno, epic video, dude. Um, that's some of the best editing I've seen on here. I'm sure it wasn't that difficult for you guys since you're both uh, computer whizzes or whatever. Um, but it was a funny ass video. Watching him push you into that pond, classic. 20 footer, empty pack of cigarettes. Bottom. Who's your daddy? Well, you guys have seen the old BVD Mexicokes. Well, check this out. Mexican Pepsi or Mepsi. First time I've tried it. 
but I'm not a big Pepsi fan. But I figured the Mexicans have got the Coke formula down pretty good, so I'll give it a shot. Tastes like Pepsi. Fire on the mountain, run boy, run. <laughs> Devil's in the house of the rising sun. <laughs> fire, 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 fire. Oh, uh, shut up, dumbass. It's just a damn fire. Um, fuck you, buddy. Um, I need TV for my bungo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, um, TV, TV for my bungo. Hey, look at here. Philadelphia. We brought that big old bell down here and fixed that son bitch for you. Philadelphia and Rocky and Power Rangers ought to thank Tennessee for fixing that damn thing. And bells don't work worth a shit when they're cracked right up the damn middle. Well, I think old BBD's getting pulled over. Nope. Old BBD ain't getting pulled over. Woo! Damn, boys. The fucking law is hot tonight, evidently, on Good Friday. Well, whoever he's after, their Friday ain't so good anymore. And I thought it was old BBD, because I was on the phone and doing 65. Two big no-nos. If that car has a Rockford Fosgate in it, somebody's got their priorities all tangled up. That is, that car right there represents every stereotype I can think of. All the way down to the damn Playboy Bunny on the back window. And the In Memory Of sticker. Phew! All kinds of stereotypical shit going on up in East Tennessee. By God, one time razzle dazzle, frizzle frazzle, loozle loozle. instrument there boys <laughs> <laughs>